This week, SpaceX is going max hardcore on all of its business segments. On Wednesday, the company unveiled new details for its rideshare program. There's exciting news of a possible future Starlink IPO. And in Boca Chica, the pace is accelerating on Starship SN1 development as SpaceX improves its manufacturing techniques, seeks to increase its workforce, and becomes increasingly more automated. SpaceX Starship Update Last week, SpaceX conducted a series of tests including a pressurization to failure test on a second iteration of a Starship test tank. Just to recap a bit, the 9-meter Starship test tank made it to 7.5 bar at room temperature, while under cryogenic conditions, the tank achieved superior performance due to increased performance of the stainless steel alloy. At cryo, the tank failed at 8.5 bar, surpassing the performance of the previous test tank, affectionately dubbed Bopper 1, which failed at 7.1 bar. The 8.5 bar brings SpaceX to the 1.4 factor of safety needed for crewed flight. Details of header tank performance and new header tank spotted. While Elon revealed metrics on the performance of the test tank shortly after last week's test, initial data on the performance of the liquid oxygen header tank wasn't revealed until this week. On Wednesday, Elon noted on Twitter that the header tank test went fine, but that test was an easy one. A new header tank was spotted late last week on Thursday, January 30th. Whether SpaceX plans to conduct pressurization to failure tests on this tank is uncertain. It's possible that since tank testing went so well, we could see the team in Boca Chica use this header tank directly in the construction of SN1. Going Max Hardcore on Monday night, February 3rd, Elon tweeted that things are going max hardcore on design production of Starship in Boca Chica. He highlighted that it's awesome. Feels a bit like a Mars simulator. First and second triple ring stack spotted. The first triple ring stack was spotted over the weekend on Saturday, February 1st. A second triple ring stack was spotted just a few days later on Tuesday, February 4th. The second triple ring stack appears to be reinforced with stringers, leading to some speculation that it could be possibly used for the engine section of SN1. On Wednesday of this week, the first ring stack was moved outdoors for inspection. It's not quite clear whether SpaceX will use both these stacks in the construction of SN1's external structure. The first ring stack was initially labeled with the phrase lack of fusion, indicating that the team in Boca Chica had some welding issues on that stack. It does look like there were some attempts to fix the lack of fusion issue. If SpaceX is able to keep up with the accelerated pace on ring production, as well as the accelerated rate of the creation of three ring stacks, then it's possible that we could expect to see full stacking of Starship SN1 in the near future. Arrival of new hardware Earlier this week, on Monday the 3rd of February, the team in Boca Chica received deliveries of a vacuum flipper, power units, as well as a few new jigs. A few days later, on Wednesday, SpaceX received the delivery of a new robotic arm. The arrival of the new hardware, more specifically the combination of the robotic arm, the vacuum flipper, and the power units, highlight an increased move towards automation and improvements in workflow at the site in Boca Chica. Just last month, back in January of this year, Elon highlighted SpaceX's incredibly ambitious goal to build 100 starships per year. The goal, of course, is part of the larger vision, a key metric that needs to be achieved in order to get the megatons per year to orbit that are needed for life to become multiplanetary. Building 100 starships per year gets to 1,010 years or 100 megatons per year. If the company plans to achieve the 100 starship per year goal, an increase in automation is essential. Starship Career Day Apart from augmenting the manufacturing process of SN1 through increased automation, SpaceX is also seeking to increase its workforce in Boca Chica in order to accelerate progress on SN1. On Tuesday of this week, Elon announced via Twitter that SpaceX will be holding a Starship Career Day. The event was held on Thursday, February 6, from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. Elon went on to state on Twitter that the purpose of the career day was mainly for staffing up four production shifts for 24-7 operations, but engineers, supervisors, and support personnel were certainly needed too. A super hardcore work ethic, talent for building things, common sense, and trustworthiness are required. The rest we can train. 20 kilometer tests coming soon. Elon mentioned back in December of 2019 that the first flight of SN1, the 20 kilometer test, could happen sometime in spring of 2020. SpaceX recently filed an application for the 20 kilometer first flight. The permit lists the operation start date for no earlier than March 16, 2020, while the end date is set as September 16, 2020. With 24-7 operations and accelerated manufacturing processes aided by the use of commercial available high-tech hardware, it's possible that SpaceX could achieve the 20-kilometer test if not by March, then perhaps within this time frame. 
Starlink update, a Starlink IPO coming soon. On Thursday, February 6, at a private investor event held by J.P. Morgan Chase & Company in Miami, President and COO of SpaceX Gwen Shotwell revealed that Starlink might be going public in the future. According to an article posted by Bloomberg, in a talk with investors, Shotwell stated that right now we are a private company, but Starlink is the right kind of business that we can go ahead and take public. SpaceX so far has launched just over 240 satellites for Starlink constellation, 60 version 0.9 satellites launched back in May 2019, and three batches of 60 version 1 satellites. One batch launched in November 2019 and the remainder launched in January 2020. The announcement of a potential IPO is not only an intriguing opportunity for investors, but it's also an extremely exciting opportunity for SpaceX fans to buy into the company and own a piece of SpaceX. According to Shotwell, this is going to turn SpaceX into a company that is providing service to consumers, which we are excited about. She went on to state that the service will be less than you are paying now for about 5 to 10 times the speed you are getting. After the first Starlink launch, Elon previously estimated that six more launches of 60 satellites will be needed to provide service to the US and Canada, while about 24 launches will be needed for global coverage. The next Starlink launch, Starlink version 1 launch 4, is now targeted for no earlier than Saturday, February 15, 2020. This week on February 4, NASA's Launch Services Program, LSP, awarded SpaceX a contract valued at $80.4 million to launch the Pace spacecraft, Plankton Aerosol Cloud Ocean Ecosystem. The spacecraft is expected to be launched from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in December 2022, aboard a previously flown Falcon 9 rocket. PACE will operate in a sun-synchronous orbit at an orbital altitude of 676.5 kilometers. The satellite will be equipped with an ocean color instrument and multi-angle polar emitters. The former will be used to study phytoplankton in the ocean, while the latter will be used to study the properties of clouds, aerosols, and the ocean. In a response to the awarded contract in a company statement, Shotwell stated that SpaceX is honored to continue supporting NASA's critical scientific observational mission by launching PACE which will help humanity better understand, protect, and preserve our planet. SpaceX so far has launched two missions for NASA's LSP, Jason 3 back in January 2016 and TESS launched back in April of 2018. Inclusive of PACE, SpaceX now has five LSP missions on its future launch manifest. In other SpaceX-related updates, on Wednesday, February 5th, SpaceX announced via Twitter that small satellite operators can now book their rideshare to orbit online. According to SpaceX's website, the costs are as low as $1 million for 200 kilograms to sun-synchronous orbit. SpaceX also released an accompanying rideshare payload guide in order to help its customers make the process easier. As usual, SpaceX has a lot going on. Right now, the company seems to be innovating in every segment of its operations. In this week alone, the company announced innovations in terms of its rideshare service, plans to expand its Starlink service through a potential future IPO, an intriguing opportunity for investors and SpaceX fans alike, and while in Boca Chica, things are still evolving rapidly as SpaceX is making swift improvements, continuing progress on what will be the world's most advanced rocket and an accompanying rocket factory of epic proportions.